The United States is in danger of failing to ratify a global child support treaty. An Idaho legislative committee recently killed a measure that state and federal officials said was crucial to ratification. I spoke earlier with an Idaho state representative, John McCrosty, about the failed measure. Representative McCrosty, thank you so much for being here with us. I do appreciate you taking a few minutes with us. Uh, this multinational treaty has been ratified by 32 countries, including the European Union. It requires all 50 states to approve it. The state of Idaho has elected to table this bill, which effectively kills it for now. What's the real problem with this? Is this just about this state not wanting the federal government to tell it what to do, or are there some real issues with the content of the bill? There, in my opinion, there are no issues with the content of the bill. Uh, Idaho already has a UFSA on the books, and all that this legislation does is update that language to be consistent across all 50 states, and it would allow, uh, once all 50 states have passed that, uh, it would allow the United States to ratify the treaty. So, so you're, I'm here, if I'm hearing you correctly, this is just Idaho being cantankerous. This is, uh, this is a group of nine Republican legislators in the House Judiciary and Rules Committee who are doing just that. And what are they saying their fears or concerns are? Two of the things that we're hearing through the media are, one, there's a concern about Sharia law being brought into the United States and into the state of Idaho through this legislation. It's a fear that is completely unfounded. Um, the United States Constitution is always the supreme law of the land. Um, and, and even if you were to dig further into the language of the statute, there's no way that, an, that any international law comes into Idaho. It's simply a mechanism to recognize child support orders. The, the other issue has to do with are the feds uh, overreaching? Uh, in saying that uh, if you don't pass this legislation, then we're going to withhold $46 million. And that part in and of itself is probably something that if we have some honest and open debate, we can actually find out, well, these are the legitimate reasons why this is so important for the United States to adopt it. And it's and for all 50 states to adopt the updated UFSAs. Um, because it is going to allow for all the reciprocity that, could, that already exists with, uh, and it would strengthen that language. How does uh, tabling this bill, which means all 50 states then doesn't approve it and it can't be ratified um, with, along with the other 32 countries, how does this hurt children that need child support, the support and the parents that want to get child support for their children? So certainly within uh, the state of Idaho, what that's going to cause is 155,000 families uh, to potentially lose the ability to collect $200 million for, uh, for those, uh, those co-parenting families. And if I'm not mistaken, Representative, it's very common for the federal government to have, if you will, conditional or conditions on, on federal funds. This is not unusual, is it? This is not unusual. Actually, something that the Idaho legislature had recently uh, in, during the last session, we had a problem uh, with our, uh, uh, we call it the uh, IEN contract or uh, providing broadband service for the schools across our state. Um, because we were no longer in compliance, we were no longer for some of that E-rate funding. So those are things that are not unfamiliar for Idahoans to have to deal with. I will admit that I was not really aware of this treaty or um, what was happening with it in the United States until it was brought to me from one of our producers here at Arise America. I don't know if this is inside baseball all around. Is there a consensus, a public sentiment about this in Idaho? Um, I would say at least if you're following letters to the editor, um, social media, certainly there are lots of Idahoans who are up in arms and really want to see this issue addressed. They want to see Governor Otter call a special legislative session so that we can get this ironed out. 
This, is, this bill is a simple housekeeping measure. It's not a, a measure that has the same kind of controversy that uh, gun laws, abortion, uh, those types of issue generates. This is a housekeeping bill. And who wouldn't want parents to get child support for their children? It seems like exactly. a no-brainer. Representative John McCrosty, thank you so much for your time. It's good to speak with you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.